Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining me again this week and I'm going to start cutting the shelving for the salon sides. Unfortunately, I still don't have a new jigsaw, so I'm going to use my multi-tool for this. It's not the best, especially for going around corners, but it's what I have and that's what I'm going to use for now. Sadly, the uh, blade that I've got is not exactly the best, and so it's not cutting very well, but I'll, I'll get through it. I'm also remaking some of the pencil lines, which they're very, very light, so I still got all of the templates from before. So, just crack on with it. So I have finally finished this uh, cutting out of the bits that are going to be the shelves here in the salon. I've uh, semi put them back together just to have a look. You can see that they're not back together very well. I put the faces on so that I could get a rough idea of how far off I am and I think I'm just about there. I've got to do some final shaving and some final cutting on this side as well. Um, you know, it fits in there. It needs to be cut a bit. I need to do a few more things there as well as this shelf needs to go down, which is where this board is. But uh, obviously with the board out the way, it'll be in the correct spot. And then of course the faces are the faces are here too. Now I don't need those other pieces. I can remove them. I think I need to do a little bit more painting, rounding the edges, sanding, doing final fitting. And I think it'll look good. Um, then I can start figuring out how I'm going to mount the screen in here. I need to order some cables and start running wiring. Uh, yeah, on to some other things in the meantime. All right, so that's the look without all of the cardboard on. Uh, I've obviously got to still do a lot of fitting work, neatening up and then repainting. This one I need to do some more shaving off. The face is a little bit too long. But I think it'll look good. I'm excited to get this project done. As I am with all projects on the boat, I just wish they would all be as quick as this one, but they're not. All right. I've come to Argus to borrow some equipment to do two more cleats for the deck. So these are the other two cleats and Andres is going to help me do that. I need to just put a bevel in all these holes and I think we can get these two cleats done. So when I finish the deck soon on the port side, which I plan to do the next two or three weeks, um, I can fit these. Yeah, can't wait. Strictly speaking, these bevels are not ready to support the bolt that's going through. They all help push the butyl tape in.
So now we have to mark where we're going to put them. I've marked little circles there in permanent marker. My cleats are slightly offset, so they uh, lean one side a little bit more than the other. They're not exactly centered because they want to line up with the toe rail. So I'm quite chuffed to get that done. The next thing is to tack them all in place. So we'll do a few small tacks, make sure that I'm happy with it. Andres doesn't let me weld because I do a bad weld. So he's going to weld all of these for me and it will look a lot prettier. And then once that's done, we can carry on with the deck work and I'll be ready to mount the cleats in no time. So here they are. Um, I now need to grind them a little bit, uh, make them prettier, and then get ready to install them. Um, installing them will happen after I'm done with the deck. You'll see I've started already doing the side. I have to carry on up until there. So it's not a lot left. And then rinse and repeat the process that you've probably seen in some of my other videos. If not, I'll include a link. It's the next day and I've had to go shopping for stuff for boats. Something that happens a lot. Um, and I bought a deck full for the water. Because currently uh, this is the deck full. It's like this thing. It goes in there and I guess it's also an emergency something or other. But this isn't a very useful deck full for water. There is a second one back there somewhere. That then goes here into the engine room. And the pipe goes all the way down and then through there, you probably can't see. And then comes out in the bulges in this area up front that I've recently opened up. That needs to be replaced. Um, I have a new deck fill for the water. A very nice one and I think that will replace that awful one that we've got down there these things are not cheap at all but you only ever need the one and you don't need to buy it all the time so I need to add some work onto the board for that all right so this will go under plumbing stuff and there we go. Deck full, install the water tank and hoses. Huh. 